welcome everybody to another nice day here in Greece. It's time to go out for an adventure with my mother that just got here. I had been living in Greece for the past three and a half months. Now my mother had come from Sweden to visit. We were going for a trip across the island. We just stopped here at the first destination for today, Lake Kurnas. Lake Kurnas is a deep lake between mountains and home to many different interesting bird species. The winter had arrived, but I wanted to go swimming to wake up. really refreshing to jump into the water even though I would guess it was about 10 degrees Celsius because uh, it's in the middle of the winter now but uh, now it's time to continue the trip to the south part of the island. We just passed uh, a couple of small villages and uh, you can see the mountains here on both sides. Third right. We are up in the mountains here of Crete and you can see all the sheep in the background just enjoying the sun and resting in this really relaxing environment. There are more than one million sheep and goats spread out across the island of Crete, which is the biggest island in Greece. We kept driving across the mountains but got stopped by the sheep again as they were blocking the roads. We had been driving up across the mountains to a viewpoint where we stopped and could see the biggest mountain on the island of Crete, called Mount Ida. It's 2,456 meters tall. Now we're here on one of the mountains and uh, we almost made it to the other side of the island. We have been enjoying this incredible view and the small narrow streets going to the other side. We were on our way to the city of Plakias and had almost crossed the mountains but ran into more sheep. Eventually, we started seeing the city of Plakias, surrounded by mountains and open to the Libyan Sea, just 400 kilometers from Libya. We are here now in the city of Plakias, a really small city in the very south part of the island of Crete. And it looks really nice. The drive down here took a while because uh, the mountains were so steep. But now we're gonna have something to eat. For lunch, we had chicken souvlaki with fries and veggies. Now we are here having uh, one of the most famous dishes in Greece, uh, chicken souvlaki. The breeze was coming in from the open sea and we enjoyed the nice and sunny winter weather. There's also a really nice beach here in Plakias and really incredible view. The wind picked up, so we drove up into the mountains to see a nice waterfall. There's also a little church here, right by the waterfall. Pretty cool. There are many churches spread out across the island, ruled by the Eastern Orthodox Church and Christianity. Looks really nice. It would be uh, cool to be here in the summertime. It's probably nice to go swimming. We followed the waterfall and the river that merged together with the sea at the end. We also decided to go down to the beach between the mountains. But 
now we are looking for somewhere to live for the night. Έχω δουλειά τώρα, κλείστο. We had come to a small town in the mountains where it was really cold. We woke up in a small town called Spili. It's located between the mountains and only has a population of 800 people. After breakfast, we took one of the small roads and were heading for the coast. We just got here to a small fishing town in the south part of the island of Crete. The drive over here was really nice and uh, we saw a bunch of really nice mountains. But now we're here in this incredible town, right by the sea. The town of Agia Galini is located on top of a cliff next to the sea and has a population of 1,100 people. The name of Agia Galini means Holy Serenity in Greek, which also means that this place is very peaceful and the sea is always calm. There are also many fishing boats in the town. During the day you can see fishermen cleaning fish after coming back from an early morning of fishing. The town has a very relaxed atmosphere and there are many interesting things to see. My mother and I were on our way up to a viewpoint to get one last look at the harbor. It's an old town with many picturesque views. On our way to another small town called Kalui Limenes on the south coast of Crete. I was planning to go swimming in a cave there. I had found the cave that I wanted to swim into. The edge of the land area was going straight down into the sea, but there was an incredible visibility in the water. I was coming in to the cave and it was a cool feeling being in the cold water and looking up on the rocks. Just came back from swimming in this cave here. Really nice, a lot of fun. The last stop for the day would be the Palace of Knossos. Hello and welcome to the Palace of Knossos. We drove all the way from the south part of the island up to Heraklion, which is a big city here on the island of Crete. People lived here in this city as early as 7,000 years before Christ. We had come to Knossos, which is said to be the oldest city in all of Europe. The palace became the ceremonial and political center of Minoan civilization, 
which was the first advanced civilization in Europe. It's strange to believe that this place was built thousands of years ago. And um, it's really interesting to walk around here and see all the old things, such as the vases down there. And that they're still here today. The palace was arguably the finest palace in Europe at that time and quickly attracted many residents to the city. Here behind me we can see one of the big storage rooms here in the palace. Apparently they stored a bunch of valuable things here. It had been a quick trip, but we had seen a lot of places. Thank you for watching. See you next time. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel.